Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you know where you are. You know who I am. You know what we're doing. Let's just get on with it, right? $128. We had uh, 18 orders. That was 21 postcards. Let's take a look, shall we? All right. First up, uh, real photo. Oh, I lost my space. Uh, real photo, this is Government Camp Oregon, or Argon, depending on where you're from. It's Oregon, not Argon. Argon is a gas. Oregon is a place. Uh, real photo postcard, Battle Axe Inn, with some classic cars right out front there. Uh, super cool. I like this one. Snow scene. It's kind of got a lot going for it. Posted in 1944 from Government Camp. Nice little message on back there, too. Jenny sent your shirts today. Why don't you come back and recome at something? Anyways, uh, this here came from uh, my local collector friend. Took an offer on it. $11 plus shipping. We've got a peaceful night on Lake Winnipesaukee, New Hampshire. Linen postcard, sort of a generic scenic view. Uh, listed and sold the same day for a dollar eighty-five plus shipping. Came from a uh, uh, the uh, eBay per uh, on online eBay purchase from another seller. Uh, here we have a generic scenic greetings greetings from Deer Cove Lodge in Ossipee Lake, New Hampshire. Again, this is one of those generic cards. They just slap whatever uh, whatever city on it. Uh, listed and sold same day for three dollars ninety five cents plus shipping. And next is Buick's Busy Acres aerial view of their Michigan or Flint, Michigan plant uh, linen postcard. Which honestly, I know there's probably millions of them out there, but I don't really see the uh, the auto manufacturer in linen too often. Usually, I see them in white border and in chrome, but I don't. For some whatever reason, don't run across them in linen, uh, but this one is indeed linen. Uh, sold for six forty-four plus shipping. Here we've got the Marine Biological Laboratory building in Woods Hole, Mass. Wow, that's a mouthful. Let's try it again. The Marine Biological Laboratory building in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. That's better. White border postcard posted from nineteen thirty-eight. Got a little bit of you know. Typical uh, condition, typical of a vintage postcard. How about that? $7.15 plus shipping. Uh, just a kind of, I don't know what really sold this one. I think it's uh, one of those beachy places that Popeye talks about. Uh, Frederick Hall Gardens in Harvey Cedars, New Jersey. It looks beachy, right? That looks like sand. There we go. 1961, Harvey Cedars, New Jersey. $4.46 plus shipping. We got a uh, view up the Hudson River from Seacoast Bathory. Uh, obviously not spelled correctly because it's a battery, not a bathory. Bathory is not a place where you shoot guns. At least not these kind of guns. Two dollars ninety-five cents plus shipping. Table Rock in Rogue River Valley, real photo, really cool one too. Uh, unfortunately, has some condition issues and there's some peeling on the back. I had to down, downgrade the price a bit. Uh, I think that's a uh, crease, and it's not really all that rare. At. It's just because it's cool doesn't mean it's valuable. Uh, took a little while to sell, not too long though, probably a couple of weeks. Uh, sold for three ninety five plus shipping. Came from my recent collection I picked up. Second at Point, Rhode Island, number one one nine seven. Second at, yep, sounds like I'm saying that right. Uh, bought a. A uh, large number of Rhode Island postcards, and this was in there. It was uh, from the same seller I've bought a number of lots from. This one is thirteen forty-five 
plus shipping. And again, this was just an online purchase in a lot. We have Natchez Trace Parkway, Emerald Mound, Mississippi. Wonder why they call it Emerald Mound. Nice chrome postcard, unposted, unused, sold for $375 plus shipping. Kanawha County Club in Charleston, West Virginia. Just a nice white border postcard here. This one sold for $8.96 plus shipping. These funny numbers are basically because of sales and offers sent to watchers um, using percentages instead of round numbers. So uh, if anyone's curious why that is, that's why that is. I typically price my items at, you know, $3.95, $4.95, $5.95. So when I send out offers at like 5 or 10 or 15% off, it comes up with funny numbers sometimes. So moving on. Uh, we have the new Wabash Railroad Station, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 1907 PCK. Looks like we've got uh, Matrona and a Brookville received postmarks there. Not sure if that had anything to do with it. $4.46 plus shipping, and it looks like this came from the collection of Mr. Herbert Love. Next up. Obviously, it's a little miscoloring here. Um, this card and the next two all went to the same buyer. They're paying it uh, $8.85 plus shipping. So first we have the Rocky Mountain National Park, uh, Colorado Trail Ridge, linen postcard. Unposted. Wow, look at that. That thing spent some time in the sun or against acid, probably acid, some sort of acidy paper. Uh, then we have the Rocky Mountain National Park Trail Ridge Road again, but a different one. Also a linen postcard, and it looks a lot better. Look at that. That's what happens when they're not touching acid for 40 years. And finally, we have Long's Peak, uh, or at least the precipice of it, uh, from Chasm Lake in Rocky Mountain National Park. So three Rocky Mountain National Park postcards to the same buyer for $8.85 plus shipping. Our big one of the day, the Ure, Colorado, pardon me, Ure County Courthouse in Ure, Colorado. I've never been to Ure. I've been to Denver. I've been to Leadville. Uh, I've been to Centennial. Never been to Ure. Is it nice? Looks nice. Uh, this one came from a large collection of uh, real photo uh, county courthouses I picked up uh, back in the summer of 2019. Uh, still paying off. Very happy with this one. This one sold, uh, took an offer for it for $40 plus shipping. We've got the State Capitol Building in Salem, Oregon. Linen postcard here. Nothing too crazy, but uh, sold for $2.95 plus shipping. You know, I've been selling a lot of state capitals. Can't can't deny it. And $2.95 for a state capital seems to be my sweet spot. So do what you want with that. Next, we got some Can Can Girls. All right, uh, this is Steve's Gay 90s restaurant in Tacoma, Washington. This came from uh, the collection I picked up recently. Sold for $5.95 plus shipping. And then the last card of the video. We've got bicycling on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Look how happy those people are to be on bikes in Atlantic City. Kind of smudgy on the back, but who cares? They're happy. Uh, this one here sold for $2.80 plus shipping. And there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I've uh, been enjoying doing these. Uh, hope you've enjoyed them as well. Uh, if you have questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, while you're there, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And there are other ways you can sort uh, support the channel down below.
including affiliate links, buying me coffee, or you can become a channel member where you get literally nothing. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.